So are you getting ready to do your online marketing, but you're not quite sure what you should do in your first 90 days? Well, that's a pretty darn common problem to have. Uh, we all had it at one point, and you're probably gonna have it if you don't have it right now. So I'm gonna be walking through on this carrot strategy sketch, uh, whiteboard strategy sketch video, uh, a suggested path in your first 90 days with your online marketing, okay? So if you have not even set up your website yet, the first thing you're gonna be doing is of course getting a website set up. So if you wanna work with Carrot, um, we are the best, but go check it out. Uh, go research us, look, at, look us up in bigger pockets, look us up in Facebook, look up the results that our clients are getting and go with what's gonna give you the best results, okay? Um, but you wanna get a website set up. Just go to oncarrot.com forward slash plans if you wanna check us out. If you already have something awesome, we're gonna roll with what you have, okay? So the first 90 days really is the foundation, guys and gals. So a lot of people I think have, have unreal expectations in your first 90 days of any type of marketing, but especially online. And online marketing takes some time to build some of those. So if you're looking at search engine optimization or pay-per-click marketing or anything like that, your first 30 days especially is really just getting things going um, and refining things. And search engine optimization takes quite a while. If Even if you're doing pay-per-click, as we'll go into here in a little bit, you're not gonna have your campaigns dialed in in that first month. So have realistic expectations about your first 90 days. Okay, this is your foundation set up and then you're gonna scale up after that, all right? Next, uh, patience, have patience and plan, have a plan, okay? Uh, one of the biggest things, like I said, is you need to have patience in this first 90 days because if we expect the world to change in this first 90 days, you expect a flood of leads to start coming in but you're not putting a flood of marketing out there, then you're probably not gonna get the results that you expect. Now, I'm not saying that you can't get a flood of leads coming in in the first 90 days, you totally can, but you have to put a flood of marketing out there to capture that, and we're gonna show you how to do that, okay? Uh, last is stack the efforts. So one thing that I wanna make sure that we all do in our marketing and in, in, in our businesses is there's so many options out there. You see this marketing method and this and this, and you see this thing you should do in your business, and you see, you see this, but we don't have to do them all at once, okay? Uh, we'll oftentimes look at companies and we'll go, man, that company is exactly where I want to be. But they, they weren't there. They, they didn't start there. Okay, They slowly stacked things onto their business over time as they found out something worked. They made it good. They made a process. They systemized it. And then they said, let's go stack something else on there. And that's how you see a real estate investor go from doing their first deal to doing 2,000 deals as an example. Okay, It doesn't happen overnight. It happens by stacking marketing methods and systems on one one by one as they perfect one, all right? So have, have patience and stack your efforts. So the first thing that I would suggest people do in their first 90 days, is you've gotta get a website up that performs well, okay? We're talking a website that converts well, that looks great on mobile, not just as mobile friendly, but looks great on a mobile device and performs well on a mobile device. It converts a visitor into a lead at a high rate on a mobile device, which is one thing that we focus on a ton here at Carrot, which is why our clients get such great results. So launch a website, that's day one, okay? Within that first 48 hours or so, which this right here is week one, you're gonna to wanna to be doing some basic stuff, okay? Get your site launched, go on there and tweak your content up, personalize your content a little bit, get your story on there, get your about page filled out so people can make that connection with you, they can see there's a real face, a real person behind this company, not a nameless, faceless entity. Because with this clutter in the market, like we've talked about in other carrot strategy sketches in our podcasts and our mastermind calls for our customers, it's a cluttered market. So the way that you stand out is by telling your stories, by connecting at a personal level. So make sure you're personalizing your content that first day, first two days, first three days of launching your website. Okay, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. If you're a Carrot customer, take our content and look at one paragraph, read it, see what's in it, and then write that paragraph in your own words and then delete ours, okay? So adjust 20, 30, 40% of that content. If you're creating a website from scratch, just write really good engaging content and work real credibility, real testimonials, real stuff into it. Okay, next thing you're gonna do as soon as you can is put tracking in place on that. If you're a Carrot customer, you already have tracking in place on it, but if you wanna get more advanced and you wanna use your own Google Analytics account or you wanna put your Facebook pixel, tracking pixel on there, I would do that the first couple of weeks of getting your website because it takes five minutes to do or we can do it for you if you're a Carrot customer and you're gonna start tracking that traffic right away. That way you can start retargeting people as we're gonna be talking about later, okay? 
And then next what I would do is really make sure you have your unique selling proposition nailed here in those first few weeks of your, your online marketing. What is it about you and your company that kind of stands out that, that gives people a reason to work with you? Okay, whole nother call or whole nother, nother video on that. We don't have time to dive into that one. Um, then I would start doing some Craigslist marketing in probably week two or three after you launch your website. So we launched it, we got our tracking in place, we've personalized some content, got our about page up there, put a picture of you on there, swapped out pictures so they're local to your area, swapped out some content so it's unique to you in your area, and built in that credibility, testimonials, things like that. And then we start to do Craigslist marketing. Craigslist marketing is fast, it's quick, it's free, and you, if you do it correctly, you can have leads and traffic coming in that day if you want to, okay? So launch that, we have some great resources on our blog, and we have a Craigslist course if you are a care customer that you can dive in and learn about Craigslist marketing. So start doing that. And then start doing two ads in the morning, two ads in the evening, and then scale it up over about a four to six week period to where you're doing about four to five ads in the morning and four to five ads in the evening. And check out our other care strategy sketch that's on the timing of your content and marketing, because we talk about why those times are important. Just go check it out on our YouTube channel. Uh, next, what I would do is once we get some Craigslist going, we've got our website launched. It's optimized with great, with great content, um, which we already have stock on there, but then you've personalized it. you built in credibility, built a great about page, and then you start to do some Google pay-per-click if you have a budget. If you have if you have you know two to four hundred bucks a month uh, a month for that, you can start some pay-per-click marketing and then scale it up from there. Okay. And um, what I would do in month two, so you've got some momentum going, you've got your website, you can always tweak your website later, you can always add more credibility, you can always add your Better Business Bureau logo later, you can always add those things. We always are looking for progress, not perfection, so get that site out the door in the first two weeks, build some basic credibility on there, and then do it. Um, and then you can always refine it from there. If you're not sure what to do on your website to build credibility, hit us up or check out our credibility building uh, whiteboard strategy sketches and our mastermind calls on that topic. Week two or month two, I would start to focus on SEO. Okay, pick maybe two to three keywords to focus on for your market that are high leverage keywords. We talk about it in some of our other resources, check them out and start to set that foundation. And then if you have a tool to track your rankings, maybe start to put those, those keywords in there to track how your rankings are going. We have that built into Carrot, but there's other tools out there if you're not a Carrot user that you can track your rankings. Um, now it's time to adjust your pay-per-click because you can't set your pay-per-click up and forget it and not let it, and not, not adjust it. So in month two, you're gonna be adjusting and refining your pay-per-click campaign, okay? Month two, you're also gonna be turning on your retargeting if you have enough traffic. So right over here, we put our Facebook retargeting pixel on which we teach you how to do in a blog post on our website and then over here in month two or three we're gonna start turning on retargeting ads on Facebook and same thing we teach you how to do those and those are other resources check them out keep your Craigslist marketing going finally in your first 90 days to wrap out your foundational first 90 days you're gonna be tracking and refining your SEO. You're gonna be going to a coach or someone that you can go to to ask them for advice on how to improve your SEO, build some backlinks, uh, build some social media signals. And in this time, you're probably gonna get some citations, okay? So get your website listed on Yelp and Yellow Pages and all those citations we suggest between 20 and 40 to start in that first 90 days. If you're a Carrot customer, we can do it for you. Just check out our marketplace, all right? And refine your pay-per-click. And only at this time, I'm gonna start thinking about a CRM. Way too many people start thinking about a CRM on, on tracking your leads in month one. If you don't have any leads coming in, guys and guys, you have no CRM, you have no leads to manage in a CRM, okay? It's kinda of like having gas with no car to put it into. So make sure that you're focusing on getting leads first, and then you get your CRM to manage your leads once you start getting enough lead flow to come in that you can't manage it. And if you do it correctly, so to scale up. Uh, and once again, if you are a Carrot member, hit us up for those resources. This is just a quick run through. We have so many other resources and coaching and guidance so we can help you crush it, just like we are with thousands of other customers. If you're not a Carrot customer, keep coming back to our, our whiteboard videos, our Carrot Cast, our free resource to help you grow or join the full, join the Carrot community. We'd love to help you too. Have an amazing rest of the week. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're gonna get first access to all these whiteboard videos as they come out and check out our Carrot CarrotCast at CarrotCast.com. We're going to be learning uh, new amazing things each and every week with great experts, great marketers, and our Carrot team to teach you how we uh, do what we do and how you can make your bigger difference. Mm -hmm.